this is Amy at Clarington Public Library and I'm here for a very special story time short with you for Black History Month. We are reading stories from local black Canadian um, authors, illustrators, or black stories, uh, Canadian stories. So I have here today um, a story by a black Canadian who lives in Toronto named Nadia Hone and she has written a number of different books in our library. She actually has a new one coming out called Malika's Surprise, something to check on our catalog. Um, it's on order so you can put a hold on it. So um, Nadia Holm is um, an educator, an author, she's a mu musician as well, she sings as well. Um, so she is a wonderful person to be talking about today and she has this wonderful series um, about Malika. There's another one here. So let's get started with Malika's Winter Carnival by Nadia Hone. Pictures by Irene Luxbacher and we got permission from Groundwood Books to read this to you today. So and this is for mummy, for my family. All right. My girl, look at you. You almost as big as me, Mommy laughed. She pressed me into her flower dress with her soft belly and smell of cocoa butter beside my head. Grandma hugs too. I don't want to let go. When I look up, I see a tall, pale man smiling at me. Malika, baby, this is Mr. Frederick. Frederick, this is my little Malika, Mommy say. Enchanté, Malika, he says with a different talk than mummy, than mummy, and his hands stretch out to me. I don't know what to do. Galang Chili, shake his hand. It's the custom, Grandma say. Patting my shoulder, I put my little hand up to his big hand, and he shake it. I'm Adele, says a girl with the same different talk as Mr. Friedrich. We are going to be family, sisters soon. She kissed me on two sides of my face. Hmm. I am the flower girl at Mommy and Mr. Friedrich's wedding. Mama plait my hair with flower and ribbon. Oh, isn't that pretty? Smile, Malika, you fit that dress so nice, says Miss Chin, the tailor lady. Everyone from our district come to the church to see Mommy Mary, the French Canadian, with his red hair little girl. There she is there. There's Frederick and her mommy. Look, Adele say, pointing to Mr. Frederick, kissing Mommy. I cover my eyes. Well, she's covering. After we go to the beach at Cuddy's restaurant, where sweet reggae music play, the Chinese lanterns glow all at the top. See them there? And the crickets call quiet ocean waves. Mommy and Mr. Friedrich look so happy. I sit by myself. Then Adele come, pull me up to dance. I don't want to dance. She's wanting to get up to dance. Every day I help Grandma bake some, bake sweet bread, fish fry, and make her special coconut drops. Grandma cook this food when someone leave our district. One day, we visit the beach where I build castles and bury Adele in the sand. Then she runs into the sea to wash it all off. Then we do it all over again. That sounds like a fun day. On the last day, Uncle, Uncle Ewart throw a big cookout and all of my cousins and school friends come to see us off. Even my teacher come. I cry and cry. She's so sad. Malika, I know this won't be easy, but I think you're going to like Canada, Mommy say as she hold me. It's hard going, doing change, isn't it? The next day, Uncle Ewart and Cousin Fitzroy pack a minibus. There's the minibus to get ready to drive all of us to the airport. But first, I hug Grandma for a long time. She wave at us from the house holding a tissue. You see her way up there? And then off they go. When our airplane land, Mommy gives give me a big purple coat with fur on the hood to put on. I step outside and my body feel cold all over. 
I see a white puff when I breathe out. Oh, must be winter in Canada. <laughs> Bienvenue à Quebec, Malika, Mr. Frederick say. You will share your room with Adele and have your own bed, Mommy say. Like sisters, Adele say. She smiles a toothy grin. Oh, like he's carrying her across. Oh, she's getting prepared for winter. Look at all the clothes. The next day I go to my new school. Mommy make me wear a long pants called long johns, two pair of wool socks, an undershirt, a turtleneck, a sweater, and a coat. Oh, I think she needs all of that. It must be pretty cold. I have two pairs of mitts on and a hat, them called toque, and earmuffs. The boots are a little big. But Mr. Friedrich say they will last two winters. See all the stuff she has? She'll be nice and warm. When I get there, the children speak a different way. The teachers speak a different way. And no one understand me. I hate it. Change is really hard, isn't it? One day, Mommy and Mr. Friedrich take Adele and me to what they call Carnival. Adele pulled my hand over to her snow castle made with colorful cones. Green and blue, red and yellow, but I don't care. This is no carnival. I don't see no costumes. This is an ugly castle. I hate it, I scream. I kick down the snow castle. I pick off the ice cones and throw them on the ground. <gasps> they make a sound like breaking glass. That's not very nice. Adele's face looked like it break apart too. Oh, she's sad now too. The next morning, mommy wake me up. There's someone who wants to see you, she say. She put the computer on my lap. Grandma, I say. Oh, there she is. Malika, is that you? She say, squinting her eye. Seeing grandma make me think about goats on the roadside and chin up and shiny black shoes at church. Think about warm breeze and roosters crowing in the morning and poinsettia flowers at Christmas time. Think about school uniform and roasted breadfruit with salt and all my friends and cousins. I think she's homesick. Grandma make me feel so happy again that I reach out to hug her, but I can't. We both cry when she have to go. Out the window, I see Adele pour red water onto the snow then pack the snow into cups, then green water, then blue water, then yellow. What do you think she's doing? I put on my coat, hat, and all my things and run outside. I take a deep breath. I'm sorry, Adele. She smile, then give me a big hug. Aww. I look up at the fat snowflakes falling from the sky. Malika, mangeons, Adele say. What? I say. Let's eat, she say. She opens her mouth as the tiny ice crystals land on her tongue. They're eating snow. I do the same and gobble each one. I smile, a big smile. Then I start to laugh and she do too. I laugh with my sister until my belly hurts. Oh, she's liking the snow. Oh, and in the background, the mom is showing grandma just how fun she's having with the snow. Oh, what a good moment. The end. What a beautiful book. So that is for you. Thank you so much for joining. Hopefully you enjoyed the book and enjoy the rest of the series. We'll be posting a few different specials for Black History Month on our YouTube channel. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.